Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our hour of power today. And take a deep breath in child's pose. Thank you for being here. I'm Stella, this is Luna. And we are honored that you have come to celebrate and play and pray with us today. Take a big breath in and take a big breath out. You have arrived where everything is perfect and whole and complete, just the way that it is. Breathe in this life. Breathe in this prana and this energy healing into your body. Really allowing yourself to absorb your breath into this body. Breathe in the breath of life and breathe it out. All that is and ever was, invoking and decreeing, dreaming it awake, this health, this wealth, harnessing my breath, harnessing my life. The best way for me to be certain of my future is to create it. So breathe. Breathe it in and breathe it out. And claim and proclaim becoming the master of your fate. And then inhaling and pushing yourself up onto all fours. Let's do some cats and cows wiggling it around, like your tail and your chin, and ah, connecting to the earth between your hands and your feet and everything that's touching the floor. Feeling your connection, wiggling your tail feathers, maybe back and forth, maybe making some circles with your chest, and giving yourself some freedom to move and to breathe. Breathing in all that is and ever was and breathing it out pure and free and clean. Yeah. And when you're ready, curling the toes and pressing back into your down dog, lifting the hips and pedaling the feet out, lifting it up and pressing it down, lifting it up and pressing it down. Relaxing the shoulders, spreading the fingers, getting out of the break of the wrist and playing and praying, and tuning into the wind and letting the wind turn into me and take another breath. Done gently and carefully when you're ready, hopping, stepping, jumping, floating those feet forward to the front of your mouth. Taking a couple breaths here and to relax all of your troubles and worries out of your head, neck and shoulders and into your feet. If you need to widen your feet or wiggle your toes around, give yourself the opportunity to set your alignment and connection to this earth before you inhale and roll it up, reaching it up to the sky, lengthening and stretching it out. When you're ready, bringing your hands in towards your heart, standing tall in samastita he or tadasana, breathe. Big inhales and exhales, inhaling through your nose, exhaling with the sound so that you're creating your breath, creating your life. Ooh, jai jai. Big inhale, big exhale, setting your intention. May all beings be peaceful and happy and free. Inhale and reach those arms up over your head, stretch them out. Exhale, flat back, forward fold, give thanks. Inhale, half flat back. Let's take three big breaths here. Really soften your knees and lengthen through your spine. Lifting your heart and your tailbone. Wiggling around if you need to. Being gentle not to crick the back of your neck. Exhale and forward fold, Uttanasana. Kiss the knees, lengthen the top of the head to the tops of the feet. Inhale, reach up, reach high to the light. Exhale and bring your hands in towards your heart. And doing that again, inhale, reach up, reach high. Exhaling, forward folding. Inhaling, half flat back. Exhale and forward fold. Inhale, reach up, reach high. Exhale, hands in towards your heart. One more half salute. Inhale, reach up, reach high. 
Exhale, flat back, forward fold. Inhaling, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhaling, Uttanasana. Inhaling, reaching it up. Exhaling, bringing it home. Inhale into your chair, Utkatasana. Take three big breaths. Make sure you're lining up your toes. You're feeling balanced and strong, that your knees are behind your toes. Nice, that your heart is lifted and your belly buttons in. Take another big inhale. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, half flat back. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, step back into your plank and take three big breaths to find your position. No space between your shoulder blades. Yep, if you need to wiggle your toes around so that you make sure that you're engaging your lower abs. Take a breath and push back into Balasana, child's pose. Stretch it out and breathe again, three. Oh, into the breath and into the wind for two, setting your intention, setting your focus, letting everything else fall away. Inhaling, pushing up onto all fours. Through your vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Keep those elbows glued to your ribs, pressing through into your little baby cobra or up dog. Listening to your body, lengthening through the back of the neck. Keeping the heart lifted, pressing all the way back to down dog. Breathe. Three big breaths for two. Emptying and filling it up. Emptying and filling it up. Last one, best one. Hop those feet forward between your thumbs. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, chair, reach up, reach high. Keep those knees back and hearts up. Breathe. Ah, oh, just getting those legs to fire off. I want you to think about your booty and your hamstrings, not your quads. Yeah. Take another big inhale and exhale. Inhale, reach up, reach high. Exhale, little baby back bend, opening the arms, cactus arms, lifting the thighs. Inhale, reach up, reach high. Exhale, flat back and forward fold, stepping the right foot behind you, high lunge, inhale, breathe, three big breaths, keeping soft and light and juicy and open, relaxing the head, neck and shoulders, oh, I've got this today, I'm claiming and proclaiming this space in my life, I breathe it in, all that ever was free and pure and clean, I create my breath, I create my life, a big inhale, exhale, bringing those hands down, stepping it behind you and through the vinyasa of your choice, knees, chest, chin, chaturanga, inhaling, pressing through, always lifting with your heart, Breathing through your belly button, Adho Mukha Svanasana, for three, for two, one more. That next breath is going to step that right foot forward into your high lunge, reaching it all the way up, feeling that spring of life. Oh, using my feet to get me where I'm going and trusting myself, trusting myself. I release anything, all the blockages that are holding me back. Noticing maybe even when I created them or not and letting them go. Noticing where I'm feeling it in my body and my heart, my shoulders, my legs. I breathe it open and awake. When I'm ready, exhale forward fold, blow all your breath out. I want you to hold this for two more breaths in Uttanasana. So you really give yourself a chance to release the breath, drawing the belly button in. When you're ready, inhaling, reach up, reach high, go catch that wind. Exhale and bring it home into your heart. Inhale into your chair. Utkatasana for three, for two. Big inhale, exhale forward fold, Uttanasana. Left foot behind you, high lunge, reach it all the way up. Yep, you can use your arms in any position that you would like today. Take another big inhale and exhale. 
Uh-huh. Ah. Let's take a breath. Let's bring those hands down and step it back through our vinyasa, just getting ourselves warmed up. Yeah, knees, chest, chin, chaturang, pressing through. Maybe you're just doing child's pose. Maybe you're doing an extra push-up. Listening to your body, breathing your way through. Then down dog, you get three big breaths. Remember you want to lengthen your spine by drawing those shoulder blades together. So you're putting your angel wings into your back pockets, spreading, opening the armpits. Take a breath when you're ready, left foot forward, high lunge, reach up, reach high. Springing myself forward into new life, into new love, into this breath, into this wind, turning the brand, wind into me and me into the wind. I breathe and myself awake. Feeling open and free and strong. Using that pelvic floor, lengthening, tucking your tail. Do you know what it's like to tuck your tail up underneath and feel the difference? Bringing those lower ribs in. Yeah, take another breath, big inhale. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair. Mm -hmm. You get three breaths there. Nice, last one, best one. When you're ready, inhale, reach it up. Little baby back bend, opening those arms into a big W. Inhale and reach it up. Exhale, forward fold. Here we go again. Right foot behind you, low lunge this time, putting that right knee down onto the floor. No less than three breaths. You could go for 10 if you would like. And toes in line with your ankles and your knees. So we always start... I always start with my knee on top of my ankle and that's to create as much stability as I need. And then listening to the body, whether you raise those arms up or not, it'll depend on the day. And again, today, really drawing your belly button in and thinking about tucking your tail. And when you do that, you're going to find a lot more length or a lot more uh, feeling and sensation in the front of your body. And those ribs are going to want to lift and then gently bring the lower ribs down. Relax in the shoulders and the jaw. Take another big inhale and exhale. And sometimes on my first one on these, my hands don't go up and sometimes they do. Last one, best one. I want you to pull it back to Hanumanasana or half splits. Yep. Then gently today, really pulling into and noticing where your hips are at. Yeah, so paying attention to the subtle body movement. This is a really deep stretch in the back of the body. So keep lengthening your heart towards your toes. Yeah, breathe. Another big inhale and exhale. For some of us, this is plenty. Yep, let's inhale and come into low lunge. Exhale into high lunge, curl the toe, lift it up, breathe, take a breath, inhale. Exhale, bring it down, step it back through your plank and vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, chaturang, yogi's choice. Yes, listening to your body, leading with your heart, shoulders away from your ears and back and down always. Who owns the wind? Who owns my breath? Big, big inhale, big, big exhale. When you're ready, stepping your right foot forward, low lunge, your knee down behind you. Yep, no less than five breaths, maybe 10. Listening and breathing into it, paying attention. Yeah, what a difference it makes, right? When you're really concentrating on that pelvic floor and that root chakra. Yep, and drawing or tucking your tail and still lifting and lengthening. It makes a really long line of energy moving through the crown of the head, down through the throat and the heart, through the middle of the body, through the hips, and all the way out that back heel. And imagine breathing that whole length all the way up and all the way down, riding and gliding. Breathing and opening. Last one, best one. Yep, pelvic floor, babe, pelvic floor. Don't try too hard. Don't try, don't rest too much. 
One more. You got it. You got it. Big inhale. Exhale. Hanumanasana. Reach it back. Half splits. Whew. Yeah, there you go. Keep those hands underneath your shoulders for support. And then notice what you're doing with your hips today. Yeah, I'm just noticing a lot of times one hip will be a little bit higher than the other one. Yeah, yeah. Staying light, lifting the heart and breathing, creating my body, creating my breath, creating my future. Take another big inhale, big exhale. You got it. Mm -hmm. Choosing. Yeah, choosing. What are you choosing? Take another breath. Last one, best one, last one, best one, last one, best one. Inhale, Anjayasana, low lunge, exhale, high lunge, inhale, arms up. You got it. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, blow it out. Inhale, reach up, reach high. Exhale, bring it home. Whoo, inhale, reach up, reach high. Little baby back bend, exhale, open it up. Inhale, reach up, reach high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right foot behind you, low lunge. Low lunge all the way. Reach those arms up. You got it. Take a breath. Whatever knee is bent. Ooh, whatever, whatever knee is bent. Oh, you're going to drop that, uh, drop that hand by your side. Oh, maybe you need a block. Oh, over here, Miss Thing. Over here. Hoops, hoops. There you go. Happy faces. Then reach it over to the side. Ooh, yeah. Oh, uh huh. Nice. Keep lifting and lengthening through that whole side body. You've got it for three. Nope, you've got it for two. One more. Big inhale. Big exhale. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, bring it back. Hanumanasana. Breathe. Inhale to half flat back. Lift your heart. Exhale, kiss your knee. Inhale, half flat back. Exhale, kiss your knee. One more. Inhale. And exhale, hold it. <sighs> Inhale, half flat back. We're going to twist it out. I like to take my hands to the outside of this leg. For some of us, this is plenty. For some of us, we're really twisty and we can reach that other arm out and behind. Oh, relaxing the jaw, lifting through the heart. Know what you're doing with your hips. Take another breath, big inhale and exhale. Releasing, inhale to low lunge. Release, high lunge, inhale, arms up. Oh, and take a breath, use your pelvic floor. Exhale, bring it down, knees just to chatter on. Extra push up, maybe breathe. Uh -huh. Listen to your body. Do what feels good for you today. Oh, you get three breaths to recalibrate in Adho Mukha Svanasana or down dog. Yeah, yeah. And when you're ready, you'll step your right foot forward into Anjayasana. Inhaling and reaching it up and then going to the north. Yep, dropping that hand on the same side as the knee. Being gentle. I'm okay with this knee, but not on top of your ankle as long as it's not past your toes, unless you're doing that on purpose. Yes, on purpose. Breathe. Yep, you got it. We're almost there, Luna. We're almost there. Breathe for three. Uh -huh. Soften in. Uh -huh. Release into the resistance for two. One more. Big inhale and exhale. Exhale everything out. Then draw in and up to the center. Exhale. Bring the hands down and stretch it back into Hanumanasana. Half splits. Inhale. Half flat back. Exhale. Kiss that knee. Again. Inhale. Half flat back. Exhale. Kiss the knee. One more time, half flat back. Exhale, kiss the knee. And then half flat back, lengthening the spine to create room to twist it out. Walking the hand to the outside of the leg. Oh, lifting through the heart again. Twisting is about finding length. Yep, good job, guys. Another big inhale and exhale. If you want to peel that other arm out, you can. Or not. 
Last one, best one, last one, best one. Exhale and then inhale into your low lunge. That's gonna be the easiest release. Exhale, curl that toe, lift it up because we're so strong today. Bring it forward and fold and blow it all out. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Inhale, reach up, reach high. Exhale, little baby back bend, opening up the heart. Inhale, reach up, reach high. Exhale, bring those hands in towards your heart. So let's see to key, stand and breathe. Energize to the middle of your body, inhaling and exhaling. Many times we reach for what we cannot see, yet we fail to grasp it. Many times we've been unaware that our breath was not ended. If we don't know how many times our breath has saved us, just listen. Listen to the beat of your heart today. Inhale, reach up, reach high. Exhale and forward fold. Inhaling, half flat back. Exhaling, forward fold. Step back into your plank. Through your vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, chaturanga. Inhale, press through up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Walking those feet together, right leg up, down dog split. Take a couple of really big breaths just to stretch it out. Maybe bend that knee and wiggle it around. Opening it up, yogi's choice. <laughs> big inhale and exhale. And then inhale and reach up, reach high. Exhale and step it forward to warrior two. Cartwheeling it open. Relaxing the head, neck, and shoulders. Grounding down into your feet. We can double cross our arms and eagle arms today. Relaxing the shoulders and lifting the elbows. Oh, breathe, big inhales and exhales, energizing those fingers, relaxing the jaw. Oh, take another breath. One more, bend that right front knee a little bit more just cause you can. Straighten that back leg a little bit more just cause you can. Take a breath, big inhale, exhale, release the arms. Inhale to side angle. Yeah, and if you wanna reach all the way down towards the floor, you can. Yeah, and get that booty down. Uh-huh, spread those legs a little bit more, Luna. You can do it, you can do it. Take another breath, big inhale, big exhale. Hold the legs there, inhale to warrior two. Oh. Now straighten that front leg. Oh, you got it. Uh -huh. Let's reach it over for Trikonasana. Stretching that right arm past those toes. Yep, hand to your hip and then tilt it over like a little teapot. Yeah, then keeping that left shoulder in line with the hip. Mm -hmm. Staying lifted, lengthening through the head. Yeah, there you go. Bring your hand to your thigh, your hand to your shin. That's a reasonable. Take another breath. Yep, gently release, warrior two. Ooh, reverse warrior, reaching that arm up and back, relaxing head, neck, and shoulders. Breathe for three. Ooh, breathe for two. One more breath, big inhale. Exhaling, cartwheeling it down, stepping back through your vinyasa. Yogi's choice. Elbows glued to your ribs. Yeah, Adho Mukha Svanasana, down dog. Taking a few breaths here to rest, to gather and recalibrate yourself. How many times has my breath saved me? I just listen to the beat of my heart. Reaching that left leg up, down dog split. Stretching it out, take a few big breaths here to really explore, to open and feel our way through. And then when you're ready to step it forward to warrior two, cartwheeling those arms open. When you're feeling grounded and planted into your feet with that heel out and those toes forward, you can wrap up those arms in the oh, twist. Relax the shoulders. Lifting the elbows, breathing here. Nice. Softening the jaw. 
softening the jaw. The lifesaver is just to remember to breathe. Just breathe and trust your legs to hold you here. And trust your body to hold you here. Take another breath here and then release the arms and come into your side angle. Breathing yourself into a nice long line. Yeah, a nice long line. Pushing out the heel and trusting, trusting your legs. I think so much times this pose is so much easier when I just spread my legs and get down into it. Uh-huh. And stop the resistance. Stopping the resistance. Take another breath. You're going to keep your legs here and come up to warrior two. And then reverse warrior, breathing yourself through. Awesome. Yeah, and then bend that front knee a little bit more, releasing the resistance. Breathe, last one, best one, best one, best one. Keeping the legs, cartwheeling the arms, and then straightening the leg. Oh, straighten the leg, Luna, Trikonasana. Trikonasana, come all the way back up. There she goes. Open your arms to the side, tilt that hip over. Yep, lengthen, tilt like a teapot. Keeping this shoulder open. Yep, you can keep your hand on your thigh, on your shin. Nice. Breathing into these obliques. Make those abs work, baby. Lift, baby, lift. Take another breath. Woo, big inhale and exhale when you're ready. Big inhale, exhale to warrior two. Woo, take a breath, cartwheel it down through vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, chaturanga. Do an extra push up, maybe just a child's pose. Listen to your body, lengthen through the back. Take another breath. We will meet in time and down dog, down dog, down dog, and breathe for three. We've got this for two. One more breath, walking those feet together, right leg up, down dog split, stretch it out. Exhale, knees towards your nose. Go ahead and give them a kiss. Inhale, reach up, reach high. 108 times so you don't have to think about it. Exhale, knees to your nose. Do it again. Inhale, reach up, reach high. Exhale, find an elbow. Find an elbow with that knee. There you go. Inhale and reach it up. Uh-huh. Find another elbow. Yep, just keep going. Yep, inhale and reach it up. Exhale, find your other elbow. So we're crossing the body. Yep, and these nice long lines, and then let's do some windshield wipers. Yep, bringing that knee from elbow to elbow to elbow to elbow, back and forth, rounding those shoulders, really still concentrating on tucking your chin and kissing your knee. Last one, best one, inhale, reach up, reach high. You can get wild if you'd like, bending that knee open. Yep, looking underneath that armpit and peeling it open. If you're really feeling frisky and you want to step it all the way back into your wheel, you can. Maybe yes, maybe no. Yeah, look at that. Getting wild. Whoa, they call that wild thing. A wild thing. Yeah, yeah, and then you can just go back to down dog. Absolutely. Take a couple breaths. Uh-huh. You're going to walk those feet together and reach your left leg up, down dog split. So you're going to exhale and bring that nose towards your knee 108 times. So you don't even have to think about it. Just inhaling and lengthening, exhale and bringing it in, drawing it all in, letting it all go. Lift your heel. You have to lift this back heel. Yep. Inhale, reach it up. That heel goes down. Yep. Exhale, kiss that knee, lift this one up. There you go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Hut, hut, hut. Round, 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 round. Yeah, those are called your abdominals. Down. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, this is fun, guys. This is fun. Yep. And then if you haven't already tried finding a knee, and then, I mean, your elbow, and then your other elbow, and then your elbow, another elbow. Maybe do that. Maybe did a lot. There she goes. Four, four, three, three, two, 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 two. Two, two, 108, 108. Last one, best one, last one, best one. Yes, you've got it. Reach up, reach high. <laughs> Found it open. Oh, yes. Oh, good. They're dropping out. Yeah, wild thing. 
Don't be free. Don't forget your wild thing, wild thing. Woo! Breathe that belly open. Okay, I hear you. Go ahead and come on to your belly. So why don't you lay on your belly? How about that? Let's do some leggies. I'm gonna scoot forward a little bit here. Scoot forward. Today, Luna has her face. Scoot forward more up here so they can see your legs better. Yep, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Then you're gonna relax your head, neck, and shoulders. Ah, and take a couple big breaths. Big inhales and exhales. You can stack your hands on top of each other if you'd like. Resting your forehead on your hands. Breathe. I'm talking about tucking our tailbone today. I want you to take a big inhale. I want you to exhale and tuck your tailbone. Yeah, pulling your belly button in. You feel this like natural curve. Yep. You can keep your feet apart and the tops of the feet pressing down into the earth. Breathing here, so they're getting used to it. Yeah, so that your head, neck, and shoulders aren't getting involved. Take a few big breaths. Yep, and then I just want you to pick up one leg behind you. Nope, straight leg, straight, oh, straight. Keep your leg straight, yep, and lift it up, whoop. Like that, keep that belly button in, tail tuck. Then lower that leg down. Then lift the other leg up. Yep, and lower that leg down. Lift the other leg up. Yep, keep that tail tucked, relax your neck and shoulders and switch, and switch. Uh-huh, and switch. Now both feet down. Yep, take a breath. Keep the tops of the feet onto the ground. You're gonna inhale and lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Yep, you can keep your arms extended or you can keep your elbows bent. Yep, just lifting up. Oh, happy faces. Take another breath, big inhale. Exhale and lower the head. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale and lower. Inhale and lift. Exhale and lower. Inhale and lift. Reach your arms behind you. Turn your palms up. Yep. Activate your thumbs so they're pace, facing towards one another and they're pulling towards one another. Yeah, like that. Nice. Breathe. Back of the neck stays really long. Good job, Luna. Uh -huh. Oh, she wants to stretch her chest, so she's grabbing her arms. That'll work, too. <laughs> Take another breath. Uh -huh. The tops of the feet pushing down to the floor, tucking your tail. Take another breath. Now you can lift your legs up if you'd like. Feel the difference. Keep your belly button in. Those arms shooting, radiating out your energy. Tuck your tail, tuck your tail, take your tail, take a breath. Exhale, release. Oh, relax your head, neck, and shoulders. How's your back? Shock along. Doing all right? Doing okay, Lou? Back's cool. Take another breath. Let's come up into Sphinx. Yep, so put your whole forearms onto the floor. Yep, lifting your heart, spreading your fingers. Yep. Lengthening through the back of the neck. You can even wiggle around a little bit, making sure that your back feels really good. Uh-huh, that your heart's forward and you're feeling strong in your hands, really pressing your hands down to the ground. Draw your belly button in. Yep, and take a breath. You're gonna bend one knee and flex your foot so that your heel is on top of your knee. Yep, breathe. Belly's in, tucking the tail. You're gonna think about lifting this knee off of the floor without foiling it out to the outside. So it might not lift very much and that's okay. Happy faces, use your belly button or you're gonna feel this in your back tomorrow. Yep, and then go ahead and lower it. Keep that foot flexed and strong back here. Yep, and take a breath, lower that leg, flex the other foot, hold it, belly button in, tuck the tail, hearts up, use your hands. This all comes from the inside out, then lifting up this heel or this knee off of the floor. Yep, one more breath. Yep, big inhale and exhale and put it down. Stretch it out and back. Woo, take your breath. 
<laughs> we're gonna switch and do the other side, flex your foot. This time, Luna, is it possible for you to grab this foot with that hand or your ankle? Lift your heart. You're gonna push this foot, yep, into your hand. Does not need to lift up off of the floor. Keep your belly button in, tail tucked, long neck. Take a breath, gently release with grace. Other side, last one, best one, moving with intention. Nice, using your belly button. Last one, best one. Like those muscles in your back are working. Gently releasing, sphinxing, taking a breath, child's pose. Ah, <gasps> happy backs, strong backs, strong hearts, open backs, open hearts, take a breath, big inhale and exhale, <sighs> inhale, push up onto all fours, exhale into your down dog, whoa, how's that down dog, feeling good, yeah, take a breath, walk those feet together, right leg up, down dog split, stretch it out and open, Inhale, reach up, reach high. Let's step it forward to pigeon. Sitting up tall, using this as a hip opener, staying on top of that thigh, relaxing the head, neck, and shoulders, and sitting up tall, breathing. A few big breaths up here, keeping those feet active. Yeah, no pain in the knee, so if it doesn't feel good, please turn it over. Oh, take another breath. Yep. Oh yeah, I like that. You're gonna use your hands out in front of you. And we're gonna do some swirls with our chest and with our spine. Oh, just rolling it around. Yeah, I'm gonna go one way and then go the other way. And that belly button in. Oh, giving some motion to the ocean that always helps in the mobility. The kind of aesthetic chain opening up. Take another breath and then sit up really tall. Big breath and then lengthening the heart forward. <sighs> Breathing. Big inhales and exhales. <sighs> Softening in. Hmm. Remember to breathe. Remember the best way to be certain of your future is to create it, to tune in to the wind. Who owns the wind? And who owns my breath? These impossible riddles Tuning into the wind. The wind tunes into me. These are possible answers. This is what keeps me breathing. The possibility. The possibility. The possibility that I might just remember to just breathe. Big inhales and exhales. And if you want to twist it out, one way or the other, I'm giving you the opportunity to explore a little bit today, to play with the wind. <sighs> to play with the future vision of our healthy bodies and our healthy breath. to allow the layers to be peeled away, to allow the layers of love. To 
and take off the masks that we fear we cannot live without. Another big breath here. And when you're ready, spirit will guide you to slowly and gently make your way to down dog. Oh, to pedal it out and to recalibrate, to find some neutral, to find some breath to find what feels good. Another big inhale and exhale. And when you're ready, you're gonna walk that left leg up and really stretch it out into your down dog splits and then into your pigeon. Mm -hmm. Ah, sinking in here. Sitting up tall and taking a few breaths first, really getting into the legs and into the hips, into the connection to this earth. That's how I ground down and heal this energetic center is the connection. Then using the fingers out in front of you and rolling the body around, giving yourself the opportunity to move the spine. Yep, our spine moves in six different directions. And we want to give it as much mobility, yep, rolling it around and fluidity to opening and releasing these blocks. Noticing and releasing, noticing and releasing, noticing and releasing for now. Ah, for all of eternity, the past and my present and my future. You take another breath. And when I'm ready, gently then releasing, bringing the head down, lengthening through the heart, lengthening the whole body, giving myself permission to breathe and to listen, to breathe and to listen, and to remember to breathe. Deep. Deep, deep, I give and receive. I give and receive. I open the heart and the heart opens me. How do I honor my body? by closing my eyes and by giving myself permission to feel good, to open my mind to forgiveness, to forgiving me, to forgiving us, being for giving, being for giving and allowing the mask that I fear I cannot live without. And surrender to the mask that I fear I cannot live without. And to breathe to breathe, to breathe. A big inhale and exhale. <sighs> Softening myself in. To twisting and turning. And I know on this side, it feels like it happens a little bit faster than on the first side because it's familiar and that's okay. Allowing ourselves permission to move through organically to what feels good. 
I'm going to take a couple more breaths here. Getting deep into these connections. Healing and soothing all of the parts. Listening to our spirits guide us. <sighs> to sweetly release. To gently unwind. And making our way into our down dog. Finding our neutral and recalibrating ourselves. Taking another breath and returning to Balasana, our child's pose. <sighs> ashes to ashes and dust to dust. Hmm. Returning ourselves to this breath. <sighs> Listening to our mind. Will I, can I, could I, should I? Let go of my mind and listen to my breath. Listen through my breath. Let it move through this body. Big inhale and exhale. Inhaling and rolling up to hero's pose. Sitting on your shins, you can bring your hands to your lap. You can bring your hands behind you, reverse namaste. Fingers up, there you go. Taking a few big breaths here. You can choose whatever kind of hero's pose you would like, whether those shins are underneath you, Vajrasana or Vajrasana with the legs out. Hmm. I'm going to take a few big breaths here. Being as still as we can. Still as silent. What we hold in this life is thousands of years of DNA. Still as silent. The mystery of a moment in which everything falls away and what changes everything longer, stronger, still as silent. Take a big breath inhale and a big exhale. Releasing your hands into hang loops and bringing the forehead to the floor, arms over your head. Breathe. Still as silent. In the beginning of this life or at the end, at the top or at the bottom. One more breath, gently releasing the hand, pushing up onto all fours and into your down dog so you can release those legs. Maybe you need some cats and cows or something to <sighs> allow that relief. Take another breath. You're going to hop your feet forward and sit down, rolling back. You can give yourself a couple spinal rolls. If you'd like some halasana, some plow, sarvangasana, shoulder stand. Take a few breaths to listen to your body. Maybe you're all ready just to lay down. Maybe there's another pose that is calling your name. Whatever we're doing before you go into your Shavasana, make sure that you are twisting yourself out as twisting is 
always neutralizing. And I wanna give you the opportunity to listen to your bodies today. Listen to your body today. And then give yourself what you need. Yeah. And then please join us for a simple twist. <sighs> Softening the jaw. Softening the body. softening our minds and our thoughts. Opening our hearts. Opening our hearts. And when we're ready into our Shavasana, surrendering completely surrendering to the earth and to the sky, surrendering to the sea, surrendering to the earth and the sea and the stars. I breathe and connect. To the earth and the sea and the sky. And I allow them, I envision them around me or near me. around me like a garland, the altar of this life, a seal, a prayer, to surrender to the boundless earth. the boundless sea and the boundless sky. Surrender to the boundless earth, to the boundless sea, to the boundless sky. I surrender. just for today and just for right now I surrender
beginning to drink in a long drink of breath. A big inhale. Meeting the edge of the sky. Meeting the edge of the sea. Loving this body. Loving these fingers and toes and thoughts. And when you're ready to inhale, and reach those arms up over your head and stretch your whole body out. Giving thanks and praise. You've given yourself this gift today, being forgiving. Hmm. And when you're ready, 